Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Firuza Turapva and I do my research with Dr. Ray. And our research is about synthesis of exchange molecules as electron acceptors in organic solar cells. Energy on the Earth is limited. And there is a two types of energy, renewable energy and non-renewable energy. So now we're using a lot of non-renewable energy. Because energy is limited, we have a pressure to find a portion of the renewable energy which we can renew it. And our main goal is to harvest a solar energy. To harvest energy using solar cells, and there's a two different types of energy, organic solar cells and inorganic solar cells. Unfortunately, cons of the organic solar cells are not efficient. And this is how organic solar cells looks like. It looks like a sandwich. The top part is cathode and bottom part is anode. And inside of this sandwich model, we have donors and acceptors. And our main focus is acceptor. We want to synthesize a similar compound that looks like this acceptor. And the work was done by Professor Whittles. And we're trying to design a new acceptor based on his work and better than his profits. Here's our method. So the first step is taking compound one, reacting, we got compound two, and compound two is efficient. This is how compound two looks like. In the second step, we got compound two, reacting, we got compound three, and this is how it looks like, light brown solid. In the third step, taking compound three and heating under this condition, we got compound four, and it looks like a dark brown. In our final step, we are taking compound four, and we tried our original plan, but it didn't work out. But instead, we got compound five, and reaction yield was improved to 87% by extending reaction time to three days. Compound three, four, and five was dissolved in dichromethane solution. This is how it looks like in normal light, and this is how it looks like in UV light. And compound five is fluorescent. We extend our ontology to compound 6. We applied our method and he uses similar steps to get compound 10 as well. And compound 10 is a highly fluorescent tool. Conclusion on a future plan. An efficient ontology to synthesize highly fluorescent boron compound has been discovered. It takes only four steps from all commercial available materials. This ontology has been successfully applied to two samples so far, and we plan to extend to other nitro and rural camp containing compounds in the future. My acknowledgments my mentor, Dr. Wei, and all the chemistry department QCC professors and PCS Kenya Cycle 45 Kenya Research Scholarship Program, Minority Science and Engineering Improvement Program at QCC from U.S. Department of Education. Thank you.